Good morning, everybody, and welcome back for some more mm, almost highest tier American tanks. This is a battle from the 8th of March, and it was a fun little battle, as you'll see as it plays out. So I was pre-1.77 release grind prepping, and by that I mean trying to get tanks where I had just a tiny little sliver of research left to go for... Uh, each tier of modifications with just one modification left so that as soon as 1.77 dropped I play those tanks I grind out those last little one or two thousand bits of modification RP for each tier Get those tier modification bonuses and then get a big boost towards the new tier 6 tanks because I still got to grind all these tanks out So that's what I was doing with my rise passive and m60a1 AOS lineup here was coming along and just getting ready to uh, get modifications almost totally complete. Now our friend here in the MBT-70 didn't wait for anybody else to come in and uh, get extra cap points, so I gave him a little bump draft to let him know that, uh, hey, maybe next time just wait for, you know, the rest of the team coming. Now a lot of the team wasn't actually coming towards the cap, but some of them were. Anyway, as uh, the M60A1 is not terribly fast compared to the rest of the tanks around its tier, most of the M60 family is a bit pokey in the engine department. Because the horsepower to ton ratio isn't quite there. So I'm kind of poking forward a little bit slowly here, looking for any enemies coming out of their spawn, any slow movers or the guys who waited to do the spawn shoot trading. That always happens on this map. Didn't see anybody, so pushing up towards A here to see if we can capture it. The enemy team is finally, finally capturing the B point, which implies to me that they waited for all their friends and try to call for artillery there, which I don't quite have yet on my Rise P. I've got it for the M60 A1, A01, or I mean A1 AOS is what I meant. But I don't have it for the Rise P yet, so. Tried calling for artillery on B to see if anybody did any uh, nice easy kills or at least do some damage, maybe immobilize a few guys there and we can move in and pick them off as I pushed up towards the A point to join in in the defense of A. We've already captured it, that's totally fine. As you can see, the M60 is not about to make it up hills terribly quickly. Not any of the M60s, really. So just making my way up here. Slowly Slowly, slowly. There we go. Level territory, finally. Must go faster. T-64A 1971 kills our MD-70 friend up here at the cap. And as I'm trying to swing the turret around and find him, he's already waiting for me, unfortunately. So that was the end of the rise passive for this battle, and I came back in the M60 A1 AOS. After trying to figure out where this guy was who was talking about the KPZ stuck at the top corner of K13. But anyway, back in the M60 A1 AOS, and down the hill we go again, hoping not to get shot as soon as I leave the spawn, as happens so terribly often on this map. So B is open, I'm going to head over towards B and see what I can do to either catch their guys trying to move in and cap it, or maybe make it all the way there myself and cap it for us. If their entire team is in their eastern spawn and they didn't come out of the western spawn, I should be able to cap it. So that's my thinking anyway. Come up over the side of this hill here, I'm trying to get to where I can level off my gun and stabilize it, and I take a hit in my uh, engine which sets me on fire. I do not have the gun depression, so I take a pretty good guess at artillery on the guy who hit me. And actually killed him with the arty. And I'll just let the chat play out here and you can watch the rest of it. Now I'm celebrating here because I took out the guy who was killing me with artillery. But here we go, just watch the chat. The 
is a little bit childish of me, but I was so overjoyed because I was done there. All he had to do was shoot me one more time and I was finished. I didn't have the gun depression, I, my engine was on fire, and I couldn't get back out of the game at all. So I was finished. But... It just makes me laugh because artillery, sure, I mean, I, I did a pretty good job of putting the artillery on the target where I needed it to be. But it's still a big circle and there's still very much RNG involved in where the artillery hits within that circle. So... Still pretty hilarious that I actually hit the guy that I didn't just damage him but actually killed him. Also, I don't know how laughing about killing somebody makes me salty, but okay. Not exactly the general definition of salty that I'm familiar with. But anywho, they've started capturing A, so I'm gonna move in and take B so we can keep the ticket bleed going with a capture advantage on them. Because there's no way I'm going to make it up to the A point in time to stop them, so much better off capping B and then worrying about A afterwards. You can hear somebody pulling up behind me, and oh look, it's our friend the rocket tank. So I put artillery on him too, hoping that uh, I might get the same kind of luck, but uh, since my tank is stopped, stuck, and stopped, and my turret can't reach back that far, we're pretty much toast. I managed to get the capture, and then knew all I really could do was just mark the guy. Because I'm on fire for the third time. But we kept the ticket bleed going. And then he actually gets knocked out by a chieftain, Mark 10, so too bad I uh, was on fire for the third time or I would have been saved. Now notice that rise P up in front of us there. He's moving in on their spawn, and that'll come into play in a moment. So I'm going to come back to my F8-F1B and uh, just kind of provide some air cover, see if I can find whoever's up at the A point, and just try to get some kills with my thousand pound bombs that I've got now. So I saw the Kugel because he was the guy who had killed me with the artillery, or well not with the artillery, but with the rocket fire. And he was now back in the Kugel. He was the Rocket Panzer. So I'll make a sweep at the A point here, see what I can spot. Looking for the KPZ that might have been stuck or flipped over over here by their other spawn. Didn't see him as I went by. And this guy, my random squad mate here in the chat, I'll explain his deal in a comment on this video after I wake up in the morning, the, video, the day that this video releases, because it's just, it's too much to go into in the time I have for this video. So we spot us an LA-7. He's coming in for a dive. Managed to actually pick off his pilot as he's coming by. Didn't really expect that, but uh, works for me. And then got a little low and thankfully was able to angle the plane just right to not hit the trees. And I want to go look for somebody to gift these uh, Amazon Prime 1,000 pound bombs that I'm carrying. So, might as well take a peek at their spawn, see what I can see. I see a AMX-30 SPAA right here. Drop my bombs for him. Get a slight shrapnel damage on him. And, okay, well, gonna come around again. Now, I dropped the bombs a little bit short, so I didn't team kill anybody. And I team killed somebody. So, that was interesting. I'm sitting here like, how the heck, how did I just get a team kill there? There's no way. My bombs were short on the AMX-30, and the other guy was beyond the AMX-30. There's no way my bombs killed somebody in a team kill there. So I went back and I checked out the replay. And here's what happened. So you can see he is fully up within their protected spawn zone. There's my bombs, well short. And you can see, like, on the front of his tank, on this damage thing down on the bottom left, there's nothing. I didn't do anything to him except hit him with the splash damage from the bombs. 
And then he'd been in their spawn zone for too long, so as he couldn't back out in time, he gets detonated, but since I damaged him, air quotes, it credited a team kill to me. So, right. So I had thought initially that the guy must have jade out or something just to force a team kill on me, but it's not really what happened. Just the way the game credits damage towards the next death that happens. Because I definitely did not team kill him. He team killed himself by being inside their spawn, but whatever. I'm glad I went back and looked at the replay because I would have thought he jade out just to be a jerk and give me a team kill. Anyway, you can see our friend, the AMX-30 DCA here. He actually hit me as I came in over him, which I thought was kind of funny. Thought I had dropped the bomb close enough to get a hit on him, but not quite. A little bit of left wing damage, probably better go back home and land. And if you speak Dutch, you can feel free to let me know what he said there, but I already know what he said because I told him in English that I don't speak Dutch. And then we had a chat conversation after the battle. Anyway, to, to summarize it quickly, he doesn't like that I go and capture points. He thinks that the entire team should sit back and form a straight across horizontal defensive line, as he told me. And that me going in and capturing points is dumb. Whereas, of course, I said me going in and capturing points is how we win. Like, we just won right there. And, like, I took first place right there. So, yeah. Anywho... There you have it. I was able to unlock the American 84 Sky Raider after that battle. Mostly due to the air kill, because the ground targets didn't really do much with the F8F. But anyway, two captures, two kills, first place, we won. I got an artillery kill on somebody that was completely RNG, but set them off and made them quite unhappy. I mean, I would have been mad too, especially if I had to do dead to rights. But, well, that's the way it goes. Anyway... Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. Take care and have a great day as usual.